of 15 pounds duration for the heavyweight championship of the world. Presenting the youngest pugilist in the annals of Fistiana to hold the heavyweight crown. He's from Mount Vernon, New York. He's wearing white trunks with black stripes. <clears throat> and tonight, recognized number one contender and capable challenger, formerly of Rockaway Beach, Long Island, now making St. Albans, Long Island his He's wearing black trunks with white stripes. He weighs 192 and a half pounds. Tommy Hurricane Jackson. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we hope and trust that at the conclusion of this important contest, that the arm of the outstanding adversary will be raised in token of victory. Thank you. We listen in now, ladies and gentlemen, to referee Ruby Goldstein as soon as they get the mic down. That arm waving, there are a lot of gnats around this ring tonight. Now let's listen to Ruby. I'd like to ask about the rules of this state. Well, I'm sure you know them all, and this being a championship fight, you know that we are waving the mandatory eight count, and we're waving the three knockdown rule in any round. I want you to watch your clinching. I want you to break by yourself instead of me pulling you apart. Make this a good, clean fight. Shake hands now, not when you come out, and good luck. Here's the bell. Round one. Patterson in the white trunks, Jackson in the black. No punch of any consequence has been landed. Big volley by the champion, as you saw. In fact, it was a rally. The best punch in that rally was an overhand right hand. Hit the hurricane right on the chin. 30 seconds. to go.
Jackson bleeding slightly from the nose. Two lefts, a right again, and then a left again. Another tremendous flurry by the champion. right hand that dropped him in a neutral corner. The blood bearing across the hurricane's face Tommy's game, but he's doing not much but take punishment. There's the bell. This time Jackson was not down, but was backing away from Patterson. And that's the end, the end of the round two. And now here's Lindsey Nelson. Thanks, Bill. And there you see 22-year-old Floyd Patterson, the heavyweight champion of the world, who is looking sharper in this fight than he has looked. In the two rounds, he's been throwing combinations with such rapidity that Jackson has had no defense for them whatsoever. He was down for no count at the bell at the end of round one. He was down in round two and was taking punishment consistently as Patterson was throwing them lefts and rights in combination to the body and to the head, a two-fisted attack. And there you see Hurricane Jackson. He came out for the second round bicycling. Now you see him exercising there in his corner to indicate he's set to go. And the crowd likes that there, giving Hurricane Jackson a hand. He's still dancing. Round three, here they go again. He's a tough man, this Jackson, a tough man. Patterson the white trunks, Jackson the black. One thing Patterson's not doing, he said he's going to, is not punching to the body at all, only to the head. Out for a quick KO, obviously. right hand of Patterson. Patterson tore into him again. Thirty seconds of the round to go. Notice the speed of Patterson's punches. He's one of the fastest fighters with his hands, big man, I've ever seen. Combinations are beautiful. Ten seconds of the round to go.
Terrific combination, left and right, Patterson. Seems impossible for the champions Jackson's jaw, but Tommy keeps taking them. Jackson bleeding from the nose again. He thought he was hit low. Didn't complain to the referee, made a grimace. But Tommy fought back hard after that. It made him mad, I guess. seconds. No punch there. The champion really punishes him to the body again. Ten seconds. Hurricane's lip is quivering. I don't think you can see that. And that's the end of round four, and now here's Lindsey Nelson. All right, round five. What endurance that Hurricane Jackson has. landed a good hard body punch, good right hand of the body. Patterson stepped back from it. Still out boxing, still landing cleanly, but not carrying the fight to him as he was. evening up a little bit, round six. Patterson keeps walking in there, walking in there. He also keeps talking to Patterson.
Okay, round seven. to see if his nose was bleeding and Patterson leaped right in on him when he saw him do it. <coughs> Jackson falling on his legs, but they begin to look a little rocky, a little rubbery. It's hard to tell about this man. Another savage, the side of the head. Patterson in the white trucks retreating, counter punching. Patterson just pawing, pawing to the body a little, but no force of punches. Another savage right hand of the jaw by the champion. If Hurricane's jaw wasn't his best defense, he couldn't take those. Those are powerful punches. Let's see what they do. The last round was very, very tough for the Herrick. No shenanigans in his corner after that round. Jackson now patched over the left eye. Just a little bit. Cut in there, I guess. No blood. White trunks are spattered with blood, however, and it's not his blood. It's Tommy's. Driving in, driving in on the man in the black trunks, forcing him back now, pounding him with shorter punches. I don't think you see those perhaps so well, but some of them, many of them bounce off the head, mostly right hands. 30 seconds of the round. Left. Of course, in these rounds, Patterson's piling up a lot of points. Ten seconds of the round left now. Both men spattered by a blood. 
as round eight ends, and that's the end of round eight, and out of Lindsay Nelson again. As Bill Corum pointed out, Patterson has been cut slightly over his left eye. Both he hasn't been before. The Floyd Patterson that we're seeing here tonight at the Polo Grounds is a considerably improved Floyd Patterson over the man who beat Hurricane Jackson, Corum. Patterson's still unmarked. Thank you, Lindsay. Still unmarked. Still looks fresh. Uh, you can't see any marks on Jackson either when he comes out, but when he goes back to his corner, he has plenty of them. However, he keeps coming in there. He, he's kind of prodigious stamina. Just unbelievable stamina. Marvelous legs. They select. Terrific left. Shook, shook Jackson. for a minute, Jason Jackson. Cream from the top of his nose down, all about his mouth. This bright red mask. That was a tremendous right hand punch. Right on the button. By Jackson, yes. And as the bell rang, a built by Patterson. That's the bell for the end of round nine. was first on his feet. He's the coolest looking kid you ever saw for 22 fighting for a title. He looks at, as if he's out for a dance. Jackson's been down three times. First, second rounds and the last Jackson in the black trunks. Nodded a little bit at that right hand of Jackson's. Dempsey Fearful, it's a very exciting and very good fight. Very earnest, very tough fight. We hope you're enjoying it, and I'm sure the folks at Buick hope so. It's a real good fight, I think. That's all of it. That's all of it. Right hand, the Ruby Ghost is stopped it. Now, now Jackson is raising a fuss, but that, that's the all of it. That's the end. He hit him with the left hand, drove him back into the ropes, hit him with the right, cocked his right hand again, and Goldstein leaped in there. He's a man that can take a lot of punishment, but obviously Goldstein didn't figure that he should go on trying to take it all night, and certainly he was helpless as far as anything to do uh, with hurting Patterson was concerned. Now, Floyd, we'll get this interview in. You told me that uh, when we started a little bit too soon there, that you thought that uh, Jackson was stronger in this fight. Yes, I did. But you felt stronger, too. Yes. And you, uh, you feel now that, uh, that uh, you're in as good shape, I guess, as you've ever felt in your whole career and not too old. Yes, but however, I, I honestly believe that uh, Jackson is such a terrific...